<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is KP the Math G. Turn my heater off, I don't need it. <clears throat> Maybe you can hear me with that without that heater running. <clears throat> I've got a lot of stuff up here, don't I? This is a 2025 of uh, the 20, 2005 free response question number two. Um, what is happening here is that we're talking about sand on a beach. A tide removes sand at a rate R at T is two plus five times sine of four pi T over twenty five. But there is a pumping station that adds sand at a rate of S at T equals 15 T, T over 1 plus 3 T. I used to cringe when I would see problems like this. Like, my man. But think about it. If you look at one thing at a time, it's not as really scary as it appears. Here's a key word right here. The tide removes sand. Pumping station adds sand. So let's keep in mind what we're doing. Also keep in mind that the units are in cubic yards per hour. At t equals zero, the beach already has 2,500 cubic yards of sand. And the time interval we're looking at is t is between 0 and 6. Uh, in this case, hours. Okay. Now the question in black here says, how much sand will the tide remove? We're not interested in how much it already has. We're not interested in that number. I thought at first we might need to put all that in there. We're not interested in how much the pumping station adds. All we want is how much sand. How much? Alright, I need a definite interval. This is a rate right here. So how much if I take the integral from 0 to 6, it says during this time period, 6 hour time period, so that's from 0 to 6, R at T DT. And I think you can just put it down like that and then say what it equals. Uh, if you want to be a little more precise or whatever, you can go ahead and say, well, that is equal to, well, it's from 0 to 6, and you can put this down, but put it in parentheses, 2 plus 5 sine 4 pi t over 25 dt. Remember which way you want to, ooh, let's close the parentheses. And close the parentheses and then dt. Ah, uh, well, ever how you want to do it, you can put dt here and then close the parentheses. It doesn't matter, I guess. That's fine. Alright. Uh, I like the dt on the outside. I don't know. This is what we're talking about here the function now. Dti. Okay. But anyway, if you did this, and put it into your calculator. Um, I uh, I have a different kind of calculator than you do, and I cannot find. I do not readily see even one of my calculators. I've got two of them. And anyway, but if you put this into your calculator, you should get an answer of 31.816. So about equal to 31.816, now units. Okay, so think about it. 
this is in cubic yards not per hour anymore okay you're taking that hour off of there so you're just saying cubic yards that's it all right if you do it like that um i wish i had my calculators um i have so much stuff here one desk i tell you uh i found one of them but that's not going to be what i need to use oh excuse me just a minute okay Alright, well, I should have had these out before I started the video, but you can do it. Um, so, uh, and mine doesn't do, I have the, I have the TI-84 Plus, but mine doesn't do the integral thing like that, so I have to do it a different way. And I have another calculator that does that for me, that's why I have two calculators. Uh, so anyway, if you were to put this in there and put from 0 to 6 here, type this in right here, you should get 31.816 cubic yards. That's how much sand is being removed during this 6 hour time period. So that would be good enough. I'm sorry I took so long looking for the calculators. I apologize for that. I should have had things out here. I had this ready, but I just didn't have my calculators handy for you. And uh, I need to get one that has the antigrand on there, already there, that can show the definite integral and everything. And then I could show you. But I believe you already know how to do that at this point by now. I'm, I'm trusting that you do and if you don't well I can I can show you how to go about doing that okay and I, again I apologize for not having my calculators readily hand, handy I just didn't think about it at the time I just I just got this here done just to set this up and uh, you should be okay if you do that right there okay uh, Okay, uh, we have people in the attic who are blowing in insulation, so if you hear a noise there, uh, just try to ignore that as best as you can. I may, if I have to, I may just stop and do this video again, but we're going to try to keep going if we can. Uh, Alright, if it's just too loud, I may just stop the video. Okay, um, and I'll have my calculator ready. <laughs> Okay, let's look at a second. Uh, well, there's four parts to this. So I want to look at a second question. So again, that's the thing you're looking at. How much is removed? You want to take, you want to integrate R at T. That's, that's what you do. That's what you think about. Okay? And that's the main idea that I want to uh, convey to you. All right? Now the second question is kind of, okay, um, here is an interesting question, and I think you get this one pretty frequently. Uh, we want to write an expression, we want to write, and I'm just going to abbreviate here, we're going to write an expression, um, y at t, we want to say y at t, uh, that represents the total number of cubic yards. Total number of cubic yards. Of cubic yards. Okay. Um, at any time t. At time T. In other words, not just from 0 to 6, it could be from 0 to 4, it could be from 0 to 3, 0 to 2, 0 to 1, 0 to 5.5 for all we care. Uh, but at any time T, 
okay so here's what we're doing okay the amount of sand already is 25 we already need to put that initial amount at t equals zero is that amount okay so let's let's just see let's put down uh, y at t y at t then this is the total amount total number of cubic yards so I know I'm looking at amount so that means I integrate here and here uh, so I am starting off with 25 now I need that 2500 I have that much already available okay and I'm going to add something and I'm just going to show the abbreviation instead of just writing it all out well no I guess I'll go ahead I'm adding something now which one am I adding obviously adds yeah and you can integrate and if you want to put s at t dt you can if you want to put now look here from zero to where though any time t right so t right here so I'm adding this part all right uh, s at t which is 15 t over one I'm just old school I just go ahead and put the whole thing down this part is s at t all right but now it looks like we're losing sand from the tide so we got to take away that r at t don't we all right so minus and then if you want to put that uh you want to really put that in parentheses two plus five sine of 4 pi t over 25 that's the whole thing here and then close that out and then put dt on the end all right and uh if you wanted to make this a separate inter interval here okay an integral you could do that this is fine but this is okay too uh if you wanted to put this from zero to t uh, s at t minus r at t dt you could do that probably but don't forget to add the 2500 to that and that's it y at t is equal to you're integrating the s at t the, the, the amount that you're pumping in minus the r at t dt that's it that's all you have to do now that is the total number of cubic at any given time. So tide is constantly washing all sand while the pumping station is adding sand to it. So that's what we're saying. We already have this amount of sand. This is how much is added. This is how much is taken away. Okay, when you integrate, that's what you're saying okay and it is going to be this amount minus this amount right here okay uh, like I was saying if you wanted to do this it's still perfectly okay I know I'm crowding this on the board I apologize for that dt and then say minus again from 0 to t uh, r at t r at t dt if you wanted to do that that's perfectly okay that's all right as long as you show you can't leave this off here though you've got to show that if you're going to do it that way okay all right that's perfectly fine too okay either way is fine but you've got to have that 2500 that's initial that's the initial amount at t equals zero i had to learn that too you can't just do this here and leave this off okay that's the second part of that all right and then finally the third part and then we're going to bring this lesson to a close i don't think that noise is as loud as it has been so let's go ahead and go we'll finish this after all okay
and I'm just using this little bitty face down here so I apologize the stuff looks a little bit crowded okay all right let's do C part and then D part is going to take a little time so this will be done in two videos I'm not going to put D part up here just yet so uh, I'll leave this part up there and then we can do D part in the next video okay this is a very good question I think it's going to come up whether it comes up on your test or not be ready for something like this okay adds and removes or removes and then adds uh, it it just happens water going in water leaking out at a rate and when you integrate those rates you get them out that's what you got to remember okay all right now the third part says find the rate I already know that I'm looking for rate now I'm not even integrating when it says this right here find the rate wow it is making noise now isn't it okay find the rate at which the toes stand on the beach at which the total um, amount of sand I'm just going to abbreviate that amount of sand um, is changing well all we have to do is we're just looking at okay so it's the rate that the that the total amount now the total amount was given a while ago wasn't it from the last question y at t y at t is equal to 250 2500 rather it was plus um i think what it was we if we want to say S of T, we can. Um, integrating um, from 0 to T. Um, <clears throat> let's just go ahead. This, this amount here, 15T over 1 plus 3T minus, and then again, Two plus five sine of four pi t over twenty five. Close it, close it, dt. That's it. Now, at, at which the total amount, well, this is the total amount. That's what we found from the last question, wasn't it? From problem B. <coughs> okay. So it says the rate, so when I do, all right, if this is total, I need to take the derivative of this so I can get back to my rate, okay? So if I take this, y prime at t right here, then I'm going to take the derivative of all this. Well, <clears throat> let's think about this. What's the derivative of a constant? It's zero, isn't it? Okay. So zero plus, okay, what's the derivative of a definite integral? Yeah, it, this removes, the, the derivative removes the definite integral, okay? And so what we have here is, <clears throat> what we have here is um, S at T minus, R at T and in this case here it's just um, okay so this is equal to um, without the inner without this okay um, uh, I don't have room down here S at T minus R at T 
okay and in this case we're looking at t so at t equals 4 okay so at t equals 4 well y prime at 4 then y prime at 4 would be equal to just plug the 4 in right here and right here so what you're doing here is you're plugging the 4 in right here oops well I'm going to take that off now I'm going to take this off because that the derivative of that is 0 okay uh, just, I know I'm running I'm out of room and I don't want to flip this board over alright so we're just plugging in 4 so this is 15 T uh, 15 uh, let me look at my yeah 15 T so 15 times 4 alright this is 4 here this is 4 right here no DT here we don't have that anymore alright that's it right there that's what we have well that okay now we're just figuring this out right here that's what we're doing and when we do that <clears throat> we get an answer of about equal to um, negative negative 1.909 okay 909 909 and that's going to be cubic yards now we're going back to hours because it's a rate okay all right the rate at which the total amount of sand is changing is decreasing at a rate of 1.909 cubic yards per hour and I don't know if you have to say is decreasing at that rate but that is that's what it means it, the negative is that it's decreasing at a rate of 1.909 cubic yards per hour so what we're saying here is it seems as if the tide is washing away sand quicker than the pumping station can add sand to it so <clears throat> that's what how you would interpret that right there <clears throat> okay if you had a negative number if you had a positive number we're gaining sand quicker than the tide can wash it away unfortunately sand is going away but anyway that's what that means okay so you had to take and then this is the total amount that's what we got from the last problem so then you had to take the derivative because we're going back to rate okay so we took the total from part B and we found the rate and of course that that first one was zero because that was initially 2500 and that derivative of a constant is zero isn't it so they don't show that on the answer but it is zero plus this right here okay that's really what that is there okay uh, again they don't show that but if they if you see y prime at t you look back on the answer of b that was y at t so y prime at t is really this in actuality it's that but if you don't want to put the zero there that's perfectly fine it's s at 4 minus r at 4 which is this okay <clears throat> one good thing about the way this these problems were structured is one leans upon the other so one thing about it is you got to get that last one right before you can do this one okay that's I can't in a sense you do okay the first one you no know, you didn't have to worry about that but uh, the second and third are pretty close now the next one uh, we'll get into next time it's talking about uh, for T being between 0 and 6 at what time T is the amount of sand on the beach a minimum what is the minimum value we'll have to get into how to find this what we call a critical number and of course when you talk about minimum you got it you got to remember that's the extreme value theorem 
or you have to test the, the extreme ends, the end points, 0 and 6. And if there is a critical number in between, which there will be, <laughs> we got to test that one as well. <clears throat> And that's what, and that's going to take a little bit of time to do that. Okay, so I want to reserve that for another video. But I hope this video has helped you realize what you can, how to think about this in a logical way. Not to say you haven't been, but uh, sometimes when you see stuff like this, it can overwhelm you. It did me. And I had to start thinking, okay, uh, amount, I'm taking an integral from 0 to 6. If it just says at time t, at any time t, like part b, I'm not going from 0 to 6, I'm going from 0 to t. Okay? And that's the way you have to view this kind of thing here. Okay? And then the third part was this part right here at the rate the rate I'm going back to derivative of the total I'm taking the derivative of the total amount which we just found in part B okay I hope that has helped you out again this is KP the math G and I'm apologize for uh, the, the noise and <laughs> I'm saying but we're going to have plenty of insulation in this in this uh, attic and I'm happy of, I'm thrilled that we're going to have that uh, so anyway, um, KP the Math G, make sure that you uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do appreciate you if you if you do that, um, whether you do or don't, but be nice if you did. And then also if you want to uh, make a comment, uh, make a comment. Uh, and then also finally hit that like button. <laughs> It really puts a smile on my face, but I mean, uh, it it does show me that you are pre, or at least appreciate what is happening here. And I know I kind of stammered and stuttered. I, I should have had my calculators right there to show you how to go about doing this. And if you still have trouble, leave that a comment. Leave a comment saying, "Will you please show me how to put that into my calculator?" and I will definitely show you how. Oh, by the way, I do have a calculator on my phone. Now, if I thought of that, I would have done that. Oh, my, I didn't think about that until just now. Well, that's what happens when you get a little bit up in age. I'm not old yet. I'm only 63 years old. I'm still a young man, kind of. Okay. <laughs> This is KP the Math G signing off. Hopefully you have a wonderful, great day.